as I was saying before the video pooped out there, the um, for this third example of how a handle, the structure of the handle might attach. Give me a chance to sharpen my pencil too. Oh, look at me fussing and correcting. So, it was sort of imagining it starting from the back side here. If this is the top, of imagining sort of dropping a line that that would, the, the attaching box would follow. It gets kind of wacky because it's at the turning part of the ellipse, but I'm going to try to keep it simple here. And it's going to need to sync up with this center line. I didn't finish it, but that's not critical. So the line, the, the main top face of the imaginary box that we could use to help draw this out is partially um, hidden, but I am still going to imagine how it would be placed in three-dimensional space to get a good idea of how to get started. There's a decent amount of sort of drawing through there that I know is a little bit crazy because of all my other guide marks. But hopefully you can sort of imagine where that box would attach to the back of this cup. So really the uh, the important part for drawing this particular angle of a handle of this particular mug is going to be trying to imagine the top part fitting into that. fuss with that a little bit more when I do the next more final video. And from there, I'm going to sort of lean back and see how that seems. Getting lost in details here. That seems okay. But that would be sort of the, uh, the box I would use. And then from there, and I'll get, I'll get into this in a subsequent video, but starting to build out more of the specifics of the handle. Oh heck, while I'm here, um, I would I would start with the curved 
ear part. The whole thing is a bit of an ear. Like I think I said, I would probably then imagine Yeah, I may, I may not. Um, I'm going to come back and finish, finish that up in a subsequent video. Okay?